Hi students, welcome to the science class. So what did we study in the last class? We studied the two sets of teeth, milk teeth and permanent teeth and also we have seen the structure of a tooth. Have you studied the portion? Yes? Okay, good. So today we will see the different types of teeth. Okay, before going to the portion, we will see the answers of the assignments given in the previous week. Okay. So the first question, describe the significance of dentin. Dentin is the largest part of the tooth. It protects the pulp and supports the enamel. Okay. The second question, what are wisdom teeth? Answer, when we are between the ages of 17 and 25, four more teeth grow at the end of each jaw. They are called wisdom teeth. Okay. So, you have to copy the answers in the notebook. And today, we will see the four types of teeth. Have you ever counted your teeth? You can look at the mirror and you can count the number of teeth. How many teeth do we have? You may not have 28 teeth. Now you reach only the age of 10 or 9 years. So you may not have 28 or 32 teeth. You have 20, 22, 24 like that maybe. But for a grown up person or for an adult, do you know how many teeth are there? Last class we have studied how many teeth are, teeth are there for an adult? Ah, there are 32 teeth. And are all the teeth same in size and shape? No, all the teeth are not in the same size or shape. So, depending upon the shape and function of the teeth, the teeth are classified into four groups. The teeth are classified into how many groups? Uh, they are classified into four groups. Okay, there are four types of teeth. And the first one is incisors. So incisors are chisel shaped, flat and sharp edge teeth. The first four teeth in the upper jaw and the lower jaw, we can see the incisors. There are four incisors in each jaw and they are flat and sharp. The teeth are flat and sharp they are 8 in number 4 in the upper jaw and 4 in the lower jaw and the, here is the picture of scissors so what is the function of the scissors ah, scissors are used to cut in the same way these incisors are used to bite or cut food into small pieces okay so incisors are used to bite or cut food into small pieces. How many incisors are there? Uh, there are eight incisors. Okay. They are flat and they are sharp. And the second one is canines. Next to two incisors, we can see canines. There are four canines, two in each jaw. In each jaw, there is one in the left side and one in the right side. In the upper jaw, there are two and the lower jaw also. Each side, there are one canine. So, total, there are four canines. Okay, two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw. And here, we can see the picture of a fork. So, the fork is used to tear food. Isn't it? Tear flesh, tear meat and all. The same way. The canines are also used to tear food. Okay, they are very sharp and pointed. They are sharp and pointed. The canines are sharp and pointed and they are used to tear the food. And the third category is premolars. Premolars. So there are eight premolars. They are broad and flat. The premolars are broad and flat they are seen next to canines okay upper jaw four canines are there sorry uh, four 
premolars are there and the lower jaw also four premolars are there and here we can see the picture of a nutcracker so the nutcracker is used to break isn't it break the nuts the same way these premolars are used to crack food crack food break the food into small particles and it help us to chew them okay so the premolars are next to canines there are eight premolars they are flat and white and they helps to crack the food break the food and they helps to chew the food okay and the fourth category is molars they are 12 in number they are bigger and wider than the premolars and the wisdom teeth come under this molars okay molars are 12 in number 6 in each jaw okay upper jaw there are 6 molars and lower jaw also there are 6 molars so total 12 molars are there and what is the function of these molars it is the uh, picture of a mortar and pestle is given so our mothers are using this one no, at home so what is the purpose of using this uh, it is for grinding things isn't it it is for grinding chilies pepper like that so or onions like that we use so the same way the molars also used to grind the food they grind the food into very fine particles then we can swallow the food so total how many teeth are there 32 teeth are there incisors how many incisors are there 8 then canines 4 then premolars 8 and molars 12 all together there are 32 teeth okay let us see the picture so the first four teeth you can see the upper upper jaw and the lower jaw isn't it so you see one two three four four incisors are there in the lower jaw the same way one two three four four incisors there are there in the upper jaw so total there are eight incisors okay so there are eight incisors four in the lower jaw and four in the upper jaw and next to these incisors we can see one sharp and pointed teeth here here also one so one one two total two in the lower jaw the same way one one two in the upper jaw so next to incisors we can see two teeth in the upper jaw and two teeth in the lower jaw so total there are four teeth in the upper and lower jaw they are known as canines okay so next to canines there are premolars see these are the premolars this is the canine teeth and after that two in right side in the same way two in the left side also and the upper jaw also like that two in the left side and two in the right side so total there are eight premolars okay so next two premolars we can see molars one two three you can see now one two three here also one two three and this side also one two three this side also one two three so total three plus three six six plus three nine nine plus three tall so total there are tall molars okay so they are wider they are flat and wider and bigger than these premolars premolars are flat and broad and more than that these molars are wider okay and this what is the function of the incisors the incisors are used to cut or bite food particles and what is the function of the canine it is used to tear food and premolars are used to crack or chew the food crack the food and chew and the molars are grinding the food the different functions of the four types of teeth we have seen now okay so these are incisors 
canines, premolars and molars. Okay. And uh, you have two assignments. How are canines helpful to us? First question. Second question. State one difference between premolars and molars. And you have to read the textbook three times. Okay, these are the assignments for you. So, you all of you have to read the textbook well. Find out the important points. Mark them and study. Okay, thank you.